So today we're adding a product called the Back Rack. It comes from centralcoastbassfishing.com and it comes like this. If you're not familiar with these, they're basically for your co-angler or your backseat angler to hold your rods. Like we have these rods here now on the rod ramp, but for buck, they kind of get in the way a little bit. So we're gonna, we got this product. It goes in like this, fits up underneath the hatch. I don't know if I can get in here by myself, but let's try. Just like this. And that's supposed to hold it in there. The rods sit, grab one. Basically just sit in here like this. They have straps on them to strap them down so they can't fly out. But when I put this in earlier, I noticed that it was a little, a little flimsy. Even with weight on the, on the hatch, it's pretty flimsy. This one's a little stronger, but this one's pretty flimsy. So I have already pre-drilled this one. I'm going to drill the other one and we're basically going to drill them and bolt them through underneath here to hold them in place. So give me a minute. We'll check back. I'll show you how they look when they're installed. Okay. Well, we got them bolted in. We drilled those, bolted them through uh, this way, horizontally, if you will. Uh, because that application works best in an aluminum boat. This is all aluminum here. If you're putting them in something fiberglass like a Ranger or Triton or Nitro or something else, uh, you may have to take them, drill them down through the through the glass and uh, bolt them underneath. I'm not sure. Um, every application is going to be different, but I'm able to get up underneath this lip here and bolt them through uh, without any problem. So um, they're in there. They're solid. Huge difference. Look at that. Let's uh, drop a couple of rods in them and see how they look here. So that's going to fish this way. So you can put them in like this. It, the tips do stick off a little bit, so you got to be conscious of that when you're going around docks or whatnot, but it isn't the end of the world. And you could probably, I mean, you could fudge them over here if you wanted to, but it's just easier to do it this way. This boat is eight feet wide right here in the back. So that's about standard on all your, even your bigger bass boats, uh, eight foot wide. So they are, here's the, uh, here's the straps. You can strap them in front and back here. And uh, that's not going anywhere. You run across the lake 60, 70 miles an hour, not in this boat, but in a big boat, uh, you could, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour. Things aren't going to go anywhere as long as your bait's secure. Nothing's coming loose. Really good product from uh, Will Hurst over at uh, CentralCoastBassFishing.com. He also sent us some freebies in here. Let's see what we got. A lure stick magnum. I think this is a uh, same piece of this. You can stick it on your on the side of your boat to stick your lure hooks in. And he also manufactures Mendit, which if you're a swim bait guy, you know about this stuff. He uh, sends a sample of that stuff too. And this stuff is great. I've used it for years. So again, shout out to Will at Central Coast Bass Fishing. Uh, he didn't pay us for this. Didn't give us anything for it. We paid full price for these. And uh, I don't think he's aware of the YouTube channel. So hopefully he sees this, likes it, and uh, shares it. So appreciate you watching. Appreciate if you would subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.